right, today I'm going to uh, be working on her dress some more. Um, I found this illustration on a friend's website. He uh, drew this picture of a girl wearing almost the same kind of a belt, except she buckled it in the front instead of the back. Um, but it shows me the wrinkles that can be formed by the tension of the uh, belt against the leather dress, which is loose on her body. And so I'm going to try to emulate that as best I can. If uh, a wrinkle starts here, it will continue up here. So I'm just going to be working with that and uh, see what I come up with. Uh, also, I'm going to start working on her sleeves. And as soon as I get all that, I can start working on her hands. And I will probably be doing the hands in a different material, like uh, Super Sculpty or whatever it is that I have been using this blue stuff. And uh, we'll see how that all works out. Be right back. Time to play with some clay. I'm questioning myself right now as to whether I want to do, actually put this, this much effort into a bust because busts are a lot harder to sell than full figures but I'll keep working at it and see what happens Actually, I'm going to bring that wrinkle over. Her wrinkles are caused by cinching the belt in front. Uh, I don't want to have that same kind of wrinkle. I want some of the wrinkle or the uh, dress to be overlapping the belt a little. I just got to figure out how to do that. I've got to figure out how to do her hands, and uh, I think I got to work out in my mind. Just got to transfer it to reality.
All right, I'm just uh, doing the back of the dress now. The front of the dress came out pretty good, I think. Now where I was talking about where the dress was cinched up because of the belt buckle in that illustration, which was in the front of the dress, now I got that uh, going on in the back of the dress. So I've got to put some wrinkles in the back showing that the dress is cinched up tight where the belt buckle is. You have to sort of assume what's going on because you haven't got a model to go by. You have to do a lot of assuming. Is that a technical term for artwork? <laughs> You have to be fluid in how you use your wire tool as well because you're not working with something that's straight or mechanical, you're working with something that's fluid in shape. Okay, This uh, dress may be the part that will make this uh, whole piece interesting in the long run. I have laid the basis for the uh, beadwork on her sleeves or the flats that act as her sleeves. I'm going to change her neckline a little bit on the uh, dress because the more I look at the uh, photograph, the more I realize I made a mistake and made it too wide. That's going to be it for today and uh, it's coming together pretty quick. I'm uh, pretty happy right now. All right, everybody, I hope you have a great weekend. Um, and uh, see you next week. Good night. If you like this video, please like and subscribe to my channel. It really would help me. Also, check out the link below this video. It will take you to a review of my nine instructional videos that could be very helpful to you if you're thinking of sculpting. Good night, everybody.